Oktoberfest! Hey up YouTube, it's, it's WG Revival. This is day two of Spooky Toberfest. I'll stop that. Anyway, uh, I've primed the uh, vampire. Done his base, I get that out of the way first because it's quite messy and I can just paint his robes neat afterwards after I've plastered them with uh, sort of mud colours there. And I just thought I'd do a bit of uh, painting on camera, which I don't believe I've done before. So if it goes wrong, that's because I'm crap. But this is just a new, uh, newish recipe I've got for doing very pale skin. I've used this on my uh, Dreadball team, the Kailashi, which are work in progress. I'll get around to them at some point. But I'm going to do a paint wash, which, uh, which until this I hadn't done for a very long time since I discovered inks, really. A uh, bit, 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 bit more, slightly more high tech than I once did. It just used to be thin down some paint with water. I've got some thin medium here, but uh, okay, this is Bugman's Glow, the uh, Citadel base colour, and the base coat on the vampire himself is um, uh, pale flesh from game colour. So game colour, pale flesh, and then a paint wash of Citadel Bugman's Glow. So I'll just uh, drop in a bit of what's the name there? A bit of thinner medium from uh, Vallejo. So I'm going to try and paint this on camera without it going to shit. A bit of water in there as well. Right, never done this before. Wish me luck. Right. So, there we go. Just a uh, paint wash. It's an old, old technique. You know, this is what a lot of us used to do before we discovered uh, before we discovered inks and we found that inks were a lot easier to do it does flow a lot better, uh, fill the gaps a lot better and that sort of thing I probably needn't do the top of it either because I just left that out but never mind so I've just plastered all that on there and then I'll just take quite a lot of it off knocking the camera as I go as I say I've not painted on camera before so uh, be prepared for this to go to shit. Might put a bit of extra shading in his uh, in his eyes there. Be a bit of blue just so sort to of make him look undead. Uh, just, uh, super super pale shading. Because ordinarily I'd use game colour uh, flesh wash, and it's very very. Uh, very very saturated with pigments you know and it really does sort of give the skin an orange cast which for these it looks just a bit too uh, a bit too healthy for this fella the hands I'll leave slightly uh, I'll put a bit of pigment back on actually just the hands just to darken it down between his fingers And then I'll just paint quite heavy uh, back on with the pale flesh. So there we go, a very short bit of painting. Um, what was Tay's question for the early part of Oktoberfest was uh, which film most scared you or most affected you and that sort of thing. I've got to say, I don't actually like horror films that much I don't particularly like 18 films generally I'm uh, I'm a bit soft when it comes to that I tend to, tend to watch a lot of films with subtitles that sort of thing uh, although I do have a big love of the really the really awful like 80s splatter movies and stuff you know like Cannibal Holocaust and that sort of thing but I couldn't think of a scene in there that really affected me other than it made me laugh my ass off but I think that's to me that's kind of the point for Cannibal Holocaust and that sort of thing um, but one one that did scare the bejesus out of me was uh, 
was 28 days later I just think the whole fast zombies idea and I know it's unpopular I know uh, you know Simon Peck had a go at it for uh, when he was doing his film about zombies his name escapes me Shaun of the Dead he was very anti the fast zombies but you know that scared the crap out of me I remember watching 28 weeks later in the in the cinema and I was just jumping a freaking mile every bloody time you know I was barely sat still for the whole duration of the film I scare quite easily I'm a bit crap at horror films but anyway there we go there's a the paint wash I'll, uh, I'll tidy that up a bit because that's uh, but I'll do that off camera because I can't really see what I'm doing I'll get better at that well, thanks for watching Spooky Toby Fest I'm actually doing the arm waving as well you can't see it but that adds a bit of oomph to the Spooky Toby Fest I'll stop now thanks for watching I'll speak to you soon ta-ra <laughs>